Open. Dollar or hurts? Me with the dollar. Dollar, 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 we just got to our room and I'm about to change out my piercings with these plastic surgical piercings because I can't have any metal piercings for the surgery. I forgot why they said that, but I'm about to switch them out with these, so. This is the soap, Hibiclins. They told me to wash with the night prior before my surgery and the morning of my surgery and it's to remove all bacteria and I'm not supposed to use any oils on my chest or in that area or put on any deodorant to you know make sure I don't have nothing in that area to cause any like infections for the incision and stuff like that. Just waking up my throat is really dry because after 12, I can't eat or drink anything before the surgery. So, it's like 6.40, gonna get ready to leave. Yeah, I'm excited. My throat is really dry, y'all. I slept so good though, I slept like a fucking baby. We had in and out and I passed the fuck out. But yeah, we just gonna get ready to head to this um, surgery center. I'll take it titties. I'm nervous. I'm getting nervous. I'm trying to be extra prepared, guys. Because I don't want to be in any pain. So, ice. Ziploc baggies to separate my medication. Because I might not be able to open the pill bottle myself. Right. This bitch ain't going to be able to do shit. I'm not gonna be able to open a pill bottle myself. <laughs> Ain't the ill for land. Are you fucking dumb? Lobby <laughs> fool. No. I just peed in a cup. I just gave them a little like urine sample. And now I'm just waiting on my doctor. So we'll be Taking you back to the operating room, mm -hmm. putting the monitors on, you give you some oxygen to breathe before we put you off to sleep. Mm -hmm. Then after, we give you some medicine and you go off to sleep. Yes. Once you're out, you're gonna put that breathing apparatus in your throat, help you breathe during surgery. Mm -hmm. Surgery then occurs when it's all done, pull that back out, then you wake up, okay? Mm -hmm. May have some pain, may have some nausea, may have a sore throat afterwards, mm -hmm. other serious risks like the allergic reactions, mm -hmm. extremely rare. Okay. okay. And that's that. Sounds good. Any questions? I don't have any questions. Maybe just higher or lower. Right here. So maybe her just a tiny bit lower, oh, right there. Perfect. So I can get right into that armpit. Oh. So I can make that incision and put in the implant. All right, that's good. All right, that's it. How about the right side? That's good too. Yeah, I think this should be really cool. Okay. All right, so we're gonna put a blood pressure cuff on your arm. Okay. You raise that arm in the air. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up with boobs. <laughs> Oh, wow. Are you feeling it? After thou feeling it now, Mr. Kratz. <laughs> You're feeling it. You're that feeling happened it. fast. <laughs> Everything just went in slow motion. Enjoy it. It's a little treat for coming in today. I love it. 
cold stickers behind your shoulders as well. So left up a little bit for me. Beautiful. Right. Come on back. There you go. And I've got one more on your right side. I am getting prepped and ready. That's the longest somebody tried to fight anesthesia. Oh, well, I win all the time. <laughs> they may make it like 10 seconds or so. Ten. But I win all the time. I'm feeling woozy as well. Instead. So we can switch out your mask right now. Here you go. Maybe a mannequin can hold it for us. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. I'm gonna give you some medicine, some more. Sorry, here. Might be a little. A little tight, but that's what we need to have, okay? Perfect. Am I okay to take this? You're about to go to sleep. You're about to go to sleep. Your hands gonna, your hands yeah. gonna fall. Your phone I don't want you to drop your phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Back to the room. Huh? I just, okay. I just put ice on my titties. Cause the swelling and the pressure ain't no joke. I don't really feel pain. It's just swelling, tightness, and pressure. I still feel a little drowsy from the anesthesia and it hurts to use my arms. I just feel really sore, very sore. It's the ice pack. This shit feels so good right now. I'm tired, I'm probably gonna fall asleep after I drink this smoothie. My throat's still dry as fuck. I just feel a lot of pressure on my chest. I have to sit up. I can't lay back. And I'm so tired. I've been icing them. And my best friend went to give me a smoothie. And I am just, I'm probably about to pass out. I just wanted to show you. They got me under. I can't wait to. I can't wait till they drop and I can see them. Five hours later. Five hour nap. I only took the muscle relaxers. I only had a smoothie. I couldn't eat y'all because the pressure from eating, breathing, that shit is that shit ain't no joke. That shit is crucial. Every time I breathe in or fucking swallow, my chest is so tight and hot. I still got this bandage on to help push them down. I'm gonna eat, take my antibiotics, and ice them some more. Tomorrow. I just woke up. I don't really feel any pain. This is the day after surgery. I don't feel no pain. It's just still pressure, but not a lot of pressure like before, like on a surgery day. I do still have to catch my breath often though because I take a deep breath. It's a lot of pressure on my chest. I'm about to brush my teeth and get ready for this post-op appointment that I have at 10.
coming with a YouTube channel soon, y'all. Be on the lookout. Doctor cookies. Doctor cookies, you see it? Okay, let me see. Are you taking your advice? Yeah, I'm That's good. How often are you taking it? Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Are you muscular? Great. Keep crying. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Not not. Hey. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? I was playing right. for a second. Oh, yeah? Oh, that looks so good. I can't feel any nipple. That's okay. It's just mm -hmm. not from, from the swelling. Mm -hmm. You look fantastic. Can you raise your arms? All right. Now, you remember the exercise you have to do? No. So you're going to be crawling up the wall like this. And then you have to go toes to the wall. I want you raising your arms up like that. I don't want you keeping your arms at your side because it's a little tender. Closer to the wall, closer to the wall. There you go, perfect. Go as high up as you can go. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right come down slow. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Just keep wearing this band 24 hours a day, except for when you shower. You can start showering tomorrow. Don't lift the anything heavy. Okay. Good. 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 One, one beverage I have for the next few days. Okay. Day three. I'm still feeling a lot of pressure, but it's not as bad as the day after or yesterday. Most of the pain that I'm feeling is like the stretching and like random muscle spasms, I guess. You know, honestly, it hasn't been painful. It's been more uncomfortable because once again, stretching, my skin stretching and just the implants being in there, like, It takes me a little bit to catch my breath and continue talking because it just feels like I'm taking a deep breath every time I need to talk because I get so winded and it feels like so much pressure on my chest and it's because I still have this band on. He gave me the band to help push the implants down so they drop faster. Since I got incisions through the armpit, it's more common for implants to rise and like sit up on my chest when they go in from there. So he did give me a surgical bra. He just said the band will help. I feel like that they're dropping faster because they were a little higher yesterday. My bad, that's a toy they are. They, were, they felt a little higher yesterday, but I feel like they're dropping a little more today or they're just dropping a little more in general. So the pills they prescribed me was something for nausea. I mean, I've been taking them, but I haven't even really been feeling sick like that. I've just been constipated with the medication. Like I've been eating a lot and I should after three days, a tiny little turd, it wasn't nothing. Um, I forgot what this is. Um, Cephalexin, these muscle relaxers, I've been taking the fuck out of these because when I tell y'all my chest was so stiff and it is like everything I was doing felt like a workout and I do need to be working out like doing the workouts he told me so I can get my body back in motion and get my muscles used to moving around again. But. Those muscle relaxers for sure help because when I feel the stretching, especially in the middle of my chest, that shit works wonders. And then I have my antibiotics. I just take one by mouth every six hours. Um, 
I don't want to say the medication has me drowsy or like dizzy, sleepy, but I have just been really tired lately. I've just been sleeping. Like day two, all I did was take muscle relaxers, my antibiotics, and go to sleep. Like I've been sleeping most of the day. I go back to work tomorrow, but I do security, so I'm not really going to be doing any strenuous work. I've just been sleeping and taking meds and healing in all honesty. If anything, it's just been really hard to laugh, cough, and breathe. Like, I mean, it's gotten easier to breathe, but that's like the deepest breath I can take. He also gave me Arnicare gel. This is for um, muscle pain and stiffness and swelling for bruises and whatnot. This has definitely been working wonders as well. And you know it's working good because I'm running out. So I'm definitely gonna get some more of this. But after I take my muscle relaxers and my antibiotics, I rub that on and I just, I just relax. I just relax and go to sleep after that. If anything, I took my first shower last night and I didn't really scrub under my arms too hard. I just washed my whole body and let the water like rinse, rinse past my incisions and clean them out and whatnot. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm a little, I'm a little bloated from the medication. I mean, I'm not too bloated anymore, but my stomach has definitely been poking since I've been taking the medication and probably because I haven't shit yet either, so. Another thing I did forget to mention uh, with my recovery and post-op care, I have been icing like all around my boobs where it feels stiff and swollen and hurts really, so I've just been icing them. I usually just get a big bag of ice like this and lay it over my chest sometimes until I'm numb. I don't know if that's a good thing, but I just lay it on my chest until I feel better and I don't feel any pain no more. Day four. I'm not feeling as much pain as I was before. Like when I feel stretching and stuff, it's not as painful. It's just uncomfortable. Um, I still feel a lot of pressure here, but it's not as bad as before. Like I can talk regular and stuff. Like I'm not taking hella breaths to talk, but you know, I still gotta take a couple breaths to you know get a couple sentences out. I ran out of the gel they gave me, so I went out and bought some of this. It's Arnica Blend Roll On. So it's like the same stuff they gave me, but a roll on. It's the same thing, relief for um, stiffness and swelling, pain, all that. And I just actually rubbed some of this under my creases and like kind of almost around my boob area where it was like hurting. And it's working, like it works so good. Like I really don't feel anything right now. This is how they look. They still are um, firm. They're not like too soft yet. I mean, it's day four, so I wouldn't expect them to be like hella soft already. I know this one's dropping faster than this one. Cause when I take my, <clears throat> When I take my band off to shower, I notice this one's like a little flatter versus this one. Like this one's still a little high up right here. I really love them all, like already because I know, I just, I just know how they're gonna look and I'm in love. Like I feel like this is a really good investment on myself. It's something that makes me happy. Like I didn't get titties for nobody else. I just got boobs for me, so. I'm happy and that's all that matters. And to be honest, I feel like I'm gaining weight with them, which is a really good thing because everybody knows I'm trying to get big, but not not too big, not big like that. Like I just want a little more booty. I just want a little more booty, that's it, you know? I didn't want any scarring on my boobs. That was my main thing and my main reason why I got it through the armpit. Like I know that's, like the most dangerous or something like that. I think actually the most dangerous is going through your belly button. 
and I didn't even know you could do that. But yeah, it's supposed to be really dangerous, but I did it. Oh well, I'm alive and I'm happy. I'm happy with my results and that's all that matters. So yeah, I will continue to keep you guys updated until this appointment. And I know I can't stop looking over here because I'm looking in the mirror because I'm looking at the girls like, hello. But okay, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow and tell you how I'm feeling. Bye. Tomorrow for sure. I have my band off because I just got out the shower. Um, I'm gonna put it back on because as you guys can see, this one is still very high up. This one started dropping first, so it's sitting a little lower, but this one is still pretty high. Uh, to be honest, this was my bigger boob, so I'm only assuming it's because of like the extra breast tissue I had, which is why it's still sitting up. But yeah, since this was a smaller one, it's kind of dropping a little faster, but as you guys can see, this is what they look like without the band. They're not, I mean, they're not super soft, but they're not as hard either. Like this one is definitely a little softer than this one. And they don't move too much. They're still pretty stiff and firm, but they're not super hard. I also went out to get some skin therapy oil, cocoa butter for stretch marks, scars, all that good stuff. We definitely still have a lot of um, dropping and fluffing to do. So I'm not too worried about how they look now or how high up it is. Cause I know it's only within the first week and I got boobs. <laughs> I also finished all my pills today. I finished my antibiotics. I finished, I didn't finish all the muscle relaxers. I still have a lot of those. Um, I have been taking them a lot, but I still have a lot left over. Um, other than that, yeah, I finished all my meds and my one week post-op appointment is on Wednesday. I know when I put my band on again, I'm gonna feel a lot of pressure, like pushing them down again. So that's the only thing that's gonna still be uncomfortable but other than that i feel like so free right now nipples still poking out like missiles and actually no i cannot feel them um that's gonna scare me until you know sensation comes back because I can't feel my nipples. I put my piercings back in though, like my regular piercings, because I still have the surgical ones in. But yeah, I can't feel my nipples, which is still a little scary, but normal, I assume. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But yeah, I'm going to continue to keep you guys updated and take you with me on my one week post-op appointment and let you know what's going on. Remember last time I was here, y'all? I didn't have boobs. <laughs> and now I got boobs. Fuzzy slides. Lines and fuzzy slides. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why? Don't they look amazing? I love them. They look so I have <laughs> And no scars. Let's take a look at your armpits. Oh my goodness, that looks awesome. Let's see that one. That looks fantastic too. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Raise your arms up. Look at that. Right. Awesome. Bring them down. All right. This one's a tiny bit yes. higher than this one, right? Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do is I want you, when you're at home, to push this one down Ooh. like this. Okay. Put this much pressure on it. Okay. I want you to try to shove this implant down into your tummy. Okay. You're not going to be able to. <laughs> but, but, but I want you to try. <laughs> okay. Push it like this. What I need you to do is move this implant down a little faster so it catches up with the, with okay. the left one, okay? 
and hold it. I want it to just round off this bottom part to match this side. So it just needs to catch up to this side. That's okay. all. But they look so good. Oh. Obviously, right now they're tight, they're yeah. hard, they're gonna drop, they're gonna soften. Yes. You know, they're gonna look, they already look amazing. I'll see you again in uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, so make an appointment two weeks from now, and I'll see you then. Just try to keep pushing on that right side. All right. Can I bring you on July 15th? It's a Thursday. Yes. And then three a couple days? Yes. Yes. Did you park downstairs again? I didn't. You didn't? Mm -mm. Did she bring you something? Uh, no, I'm all oh, good. Yes. Oh my God, guess what? Look. I have boobs. No. <laughs> Thank you guys. 12 o'clock midnight. As you can see in my appointment, he was pressing down on this one because I mean don't want to show too much titty but like I was saying before the left one was dropping faster than the right one and I honestly think it was because I wasn't wearing my band tight enough so if I tighten that I'm feeling a lot more pressure now and he told me I need to be Pressing like you see how that bulges out more. I need to be pressing it down. I, I need to be like damn near pressing it down into my stomach. And he said once they both have well came down here and they stay down here, take the band off, don't wear it no more. And actually, as you can see, I did switch out the band they gave me. I ordered this off of Amazon. It was pretty cheap. It wasn't like hella expensive, but I got it off Amazon. I like this better than the surgical one they gave me because I feel like it supports my back more. Like the other one was a little flimsy, not enough pressure, I feel. And this one adds way more pressure and the thickness of it helps support my back because my back has been killing me. My back has really been killing me. That's been like my only complaint. Not my only complaint, actually, my back's been killing me. And how do I explain this? If you wear wired bras or you've worn a wired bra before, then you know that feeling when, like when the wires start sticking out or coming out of the bra, and they just like start sticking you in the middle of the chest. That's the exact pain it feels like the way this is stretching and as you guys can see they're looking good i like how they're looking now but they definitely like this part here this is all really tight like this is tight as hell and it hurts not hurts but i mean i could touch it and rub it but it's really tight it's irritating it's a very uncomfortable feeling it's not painful but it almost brought me to tears because when I first tightened my band and I felt this part stretching, it hurt so bad. So I've been using a lot of that roll-on muscle and joint relaxer I showed you guys. This has been a fun experience. Fun. This has been an interesting experience. I definitely still have more dropping and fluffing to do. But for the meantime, I'm really liking how they look. I'm really happy with the size. I'm glad I have boobs now. My confidence level has just been. So if you guys wanna keep up with me, you can follow me on Instagram at Amanda Nia Amore. You guys can leave me questions on there or you guys can leave me questions below. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna compile all the questions you guys have and turn that into a Q&A video. And that's all I really got for y'all. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye pandas. <laughs>